Hello, thanks very much for joining me again. Uh, what can I say? The weather's been atrocious here. We've had nothing but rain for weeks on weeks. It's uh, thoroughly depressing if you want to get out and do a bit of fishing. So what you see in the vice is a bomb to get you down through them dirty layers and at least be in with a chance of a fish. So without further ado, let's get into it. So in the vise we have the Hanak 490 Jig Trophy Hook. It's a heavy wire hook and it's black nickel. And this one's at size 12. And I've coupled that with the Hanak 4.6mm slotted tungsten bead. And as you can see, it's a metallic pink. The thread I'm going to be using today is the Vivis E01 and it's black at 8 -0. First thing to do then is get plenty of wax onto the thread and bring your slotted bead right over the top and if you build a little bit of a, an on-ramp that will just hold the bead in place out of your way while you, you're tying. Okay. So I'll bring my rat's tail round to where it will be some use and I'm going to bring my thread all the way back to approximately where a barb would be on a normal hook. I can just remove that now and I'm just going to give it another couple of turns of thread to catch my tail end in. So my thread is finished approximately where the barb would be. For the tail of this fly I'm going to be using some Vivas. This is uh, floss, it's the 04 and I've already taken a strip off no need to double this up it's a, it's a fairly thick thick uh, strand of silk already so I'm just going to catch that in pull it through and simply catch it all in didn't look that that didn't look very graceful to me there but it's in place and I'm not worried because there's going to be quite a lot uh, more going on with the body of this fly. So I've achieved the goal so to speak. So I obviously don't want this length of tail. I'm going to come in with my snips and just in line with the bend of the hook I'm going to cut that away. Nice short little tag. Some people prefer longer tags uh, I just like it like this, you know, each to their own. So, next thing I'm going to add is some uh, Vivas Pearl. This is the P01, and it's pretty much a, a Lurex material. Just take a bit of that off. And I'm going to catch that in now. Once I've caught it in, I'm just going to work on building up a taper for my body. doesn't need to be a big taper, but just a slight taper. And once I'm happy with the taper, what I'm going to do next is run off a load of thread and I'm going to create a dubbing loop. So all I've done is I've got quite a bit of thread in my hand here. I've come up and I've caught my thread and I'm going to dub, sorry, I'm going to wrap all the way back to the end of the fly. So I've created a dubbing loop there. I'll just show you there. And I can forget about that for the moment. Bring my thread back up to the bead of the fly. Now, before I bring my Vivas wrap up, I'm just going to cover the shank in a little bit of super glue. Now, this isn't really required. It's more a, a belts and braces thing from my perspective. Uh, it just gives the fly a bit survivor, 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 sorry, so, 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 uh, survivability rate when it hits, starts bouncing off the bottom. And um, with this really heavy bead on and the profile of the fly, 
you can rest assured that it will be bouncing off the stones on the bottom of the riverbed. So let's just get a few wraps in here. And as it gets up near the top, bring it over and you can capture that in with your thread here. Bring it back, bring your thread in front of your material, and come in with your scissors and simply remove that. So I've now got uh, a nice shiny body which has been secured with uh, some super glue. So I know that's well bedded down. My thread is now at the seat of my bead and I've got my dubbing loop in my hand here. I'm going to use my trusty dubbing spinner and I'll just put that on the thread here and bring it down. Now I can just let that all hang together while I show you what I'm going to dub on. So I'm going to use some Trout Stalkers dubbing and this one is the Highland Peat variety. Now I'm, I've, I've just about used it all and I'm going to have to order some more. I just hope I can get the same blend because I really like the colour of this one and what I've done is I've taken some out of the packet and I've just sort of flattened it all out because what I don't want is a thick dubbing brush here. So I'm going to insert it into my dubbing loop. You could use a clip but there's not, not much need for this. So once I've got it in place I can spin that up like so. Once you're happy with um, it's all been caught in, you need to really thin it out. You don't want that shiny body that you've taken all that time and effort creating to be completely hidden. It should be obscured, but not completely hidden. So I've just plucked that out and cleaned it up. I'll just bring it that way so you can see. I've got a nice dubbing brush created there now. And what I'm going to do now is transfer it to my hackle pliers. Then I can get rid of the get rid of the um, spinning me jig. I've forgotten what it's called. Yep, it's still not coming to me. Anyway, I'm getting rid of this now. Next. I'm going to just try and keep my thread out of the way and I'm going to add a small coat of Solaris Bone Dry to my body because there's not going to be any uh, wire rib to hold this in place it's simply going to be held in with the UV so I can then come with my hackle pliers and what I want to do is come up the body and what I like to do is have more of the bling towards the end of the fly and as I come up it gets thicker and there's less and less of it visible so all the way up and then the last couple will bring you right to the head and as you can see most of the shine has now been obscured and I've brought that all the way to the front and it's worked out just nice sometimes uh, this bit takes a bit of practice getting the right length for your brush so I'm going to get a couple of turns just to hold it into place then I can come in with my UV torch and cure the resin and that will just stop your brush moving about on the, on the shank of the hook Just takes a little bit of time and once you've cured it you can then come in with your snips remove the waste of your dubbing brush dubbing spinner that's what it was called in it yeah dubbing spinner then next whip everything back and a few turns 
I'm going to put a couple of half hitches in here. Uh, you can certainly use a whip finish tool if you got one for Christmas. And trim that away. Now, I could simply add a spot of super glue and that fly is pretty good to go. But just as an added trigger point, remember it's, it's a 4.6 millimeter bead. It's designed to get down quick in dirty water. So what I want to do is just add a, another little hot spot. And what I'm going to use for that is the glow bright number six. And I'm going to give it a, an orange collar. So I'm going to cast on my glow bright. Two or three turns to get you started. And you can take away your waist end. And what I like to do with this is just add some UV resin. Quite a ways down the thread. It gives quite a nice effect if you get plenty of resin on this to finish off. And it saves you trying to go in later on with a needle around your dubbing, trying not to make a mess of it. So once you've got that in place, you can again get out your fancy whip finish tool that you got for Christmas, or you can do a half hitch like I've done. Then cure off your UV resin. Don't let high and dirty rivers put you off. There's always a chance of a fish if you can get your flies down. Just get your cell out, pick the margins of the river, and you'll be surprised what you can pick up. You might not um, get bags of fish, but you're often in with a chance of one or two, just picking away at the margins. And it's better than watching the telly. Once that's cured, remove your thread. You can come in a bit with your dubbing brush if you like, just to get the fly looking sweet. And then that's ready to go in the box. Hope you enjoyed that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so now, and I'll see you all next time. If you want to make them up, that's how to do it.